<laughs> Welcome to my life as I live it. Welcome to a weekly vlog. Yes, guys, my weekly vlogs always start on Wednesday, so at this point, half weekly vlog. So today is a Wednesday, and I'm about to step out. I have some things to do, so I just got up cooked, and um, I got up cooked. I filmed two videos, and I'm about to step out, so I just said I should come and introduce this vlog. Today is going to be an exciting day because, guys, <gasps> Ooh, today we're having a Cameroonian youtubers after work event i'm excited about it because i'm going to meet somebody for the first time there's somebody knows himself i'll show you guys there's somebody when i get there but i'm supposed to meet somebody for the first time i'm supposed to meet no two somebody's two somebody's how could i forget the other one i'm supposed to meet two people for the first time you know how i get when i'm meeting new youtubers and things like that i get really excited so yeah i just said i should come and um begin the vlog so you can already say i'm dressed up and i'm actually running late i'm already 10 minutes late so i have to go i just said i come and introduce this vlog we're going to talk more in the course of the day and all that but before i go let me go and let me eh, 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 is this thing working see guys it's just very traumatic <laughs> shooting videos with a new mic when you don't really know how it works because you're constantly scared oh my god oh my god oh my god is this is this thing working is this thing working anyway like I was saying, um, I'm on my way out. I'll just rush and go. What do you guys think about my new background? I've been trying to figure out a perfect background, and I'm loving this one. I feel like I'm going to stick with this for now. While thinking of how to make a proper permanent, like, filming space where I'll just sit and do my videos. But this is it for now. What do you guys think? Can you guys give a critique? Can you guys give a critique? Anyway, um, let me go. Let me go. Um, I'm going to talk later. There's something that's just I want to talk about. Let me go first. When I come back, I'll give you a gist, okay? Hot gist. But yeah, I just said I should come and start this video. So if you want to see how my week went, just keep watching. <laughs> day we went for the youtubers event and i had so much fun it was so nice meeting melvin and kamga i've been speaking to these people online for the longest time so it was so interesting to meet them we had fun guys we had fun it was kind of a karaoke night as you guys must have seen in the video it was really fun 
so one minute so guys i just got a packet from shein let's do thumbnail <laughs> Hey guys, so today is Sunday and I am at the Catholic Church, guys. I talk about missing the Catholic Church all the time, but I sincerely miss the Catholic Church. I enjoyed the Mass. I enjoyed the Mass very much. So they're doing their announcements and I decided to just come out here and just with you guys because... I don't know when I'll be able to just for you guys again. So, um, first of all, I'm here because my friend, my friend's mother-in-law is taking off her sack, sack cloth. And the funny thing about this, my friend, is that my friend is married to my childhood friend. Okay, so it's like I'm a friend to the family. So, yeah, that's what's up. That's why I'm here. So, we came to support them and we're waiting for mass to get finished because we have to follow them to the house they'll be doing a little something there so yeah that's what is up i said i should come here and give you people this short story time i hope it's short this little story time before we leave i hope that i'll be able to finish the story but i've talked a lot here i don't know i feel like you guys are hearing more of what is going on inside the church than here okay so yes guys like i was saying i want to talk about something that happened to me okay um you know my sheen journey on this channel you know how i'll talk about buying on sheen selling on sharing sheen i used to buy for people but i told you guys i don't buy anymore and it's just because of complications sometimes people don't understand that they have to be patient sometimes people buy i buy things for people and they start telling me oh the thing you got for me is poor quality almost as if i work for sheen so i just decided that i did not want to work, buy for sheen anymore i was done with it so um a couple of weeks ago we have this friend of mine my friend reached out to me and told me that she wanted me to buy for her friend that her friend watches me and her friend had seen that i sell i buy on sheen so she wants her friend wants me to buy for her and my first reaction was no i'm not doing it i don't want to do it i like i don't like <sighs> I'm tired <laughs> standing there sitting there sitting there it's okay okay just basically like I don't want to do it I like I was not ready yeah. so she just tried to convince me that no my friend is really calm and nice my friend does not stress my friend is like she will not disturb you can I promise I'm taking responsibility for this so because of this my friend I was like okay no problem you can connect us so she connected us her friend reached out to me the lady reached out to me we talked business here yeah, she wants to try some things and then she will see if she can buy more later I was like okay no problem them. so we calculated her bill and everything and i told her that i don't do this for free like people pay me for my services i do it for free for my family friends close friends and things like that but for people that i don't know you pay me because sometimes it's stressful it's stressing me out you're using it like you pay me for it the whole process of me picking the thing i want i, I even know i'm explaining to people but yes i'm just saying that you have to pay me for it so that was it we discussed everything everything she was going to do together with my payment was forty seven thousand. so i asked her to send the money immediately because there was not enough time i told her to send the money so that i can go ahead and, and just buy yeah go ahead and just buy the things because i do not want to waste time to buy so she paid in the money immediately into my mobile money i was like okay no problem the guys the next day i had to buy because i think that was her. she sent me the money on the 26th i'll try to be leaving receipts here and guys um while telling you this story i want you people to look at it objectively maybe i'm going to make the story sound like i'm the better person or, or, or she's the bad person or whatever i want you people to listen to this story and then you tell me objectively where you think i was wrong where you think she was wrong and all that okay because we learn every day so that is what happened she paid in the money I had to buy the next day so i tried to buy my card was acting up because my brother had been using my card to do some transactions on facebook and things like that so my card was acting up for like one week i struggled to get the card working i finally got the card working oh no i feel like she paid that money between the 19 18 19 like that so like on the 26th like a week later or five days later she calls me and she asked me 
what's happening did i buy the things again and all that and i was like i'm sorry i forgot to get to you because guys i have been going through it but i don't want to start explaining my problems here because it sound as if i'm trying to defend myself with things like that so she wrote to me and i was like oh my god i'm sorry i had to get to you but it slipped my mind I, i'm sorry that i did not get back to you but i have been uh, uh, I've not about the things. I had an issue with my card, but I'm going to buy it tomorrow. So I told her that I was like, okay, no problem. And guys, when you're coming to buy from me, I tell you, first of all, when I buy, the second I pay in for whatever thing, I don't have like I don't have any control again. The second I buy from Shane, I have no control anymore. Everything now is left on Shane and DHL and all that. So I explained to her, and I also told her that the things I buy they come between ten to twenty working days you get the things come from 10 to 20 working days so that's what happened i told her about the next day so the next day i ordered the things and guys <laughs> i don't know that those things before the package said normally when i buy today like tomorrow the things get packaged they package the things the next day in like two days they ship them in like like it always goes really fast but they are they are I'll not say that it's a completely new thing. If I bought 30 times from Shane, like four times I've had issues and this happened to be one of those times. So I paid for those things. When I paid for them, I looked at the app. It was not moving. I looked at the app. It was not moving. It, it made like four days before those things moved. So it moved to the next stage, packaging and all that. When it got to packaging, it got stuck there. I was like, what is going on? It got stuck there. You cannot like... I don't act like I just decided to be patient because sometimes it can do like that, but we still come. So I decided to be patient like four days, five days, nothing was happening. The next thing that happened was that I received a message and that message was telling me that they had to repackage, they had to unpack my package and repackage it. I did not understand that it meant that maybe some things will not be there at the moment. So I was like, okay, no problem. So after I spoke to her that I was going to buy and I bought the next day, it made like seven days or nine working days something like that and she now calls me guys i've been transitioning changing from android to ios i have an iphone now so i have been struggling to transport my information transport my numbers in the process of transporting or transferring i have lost so many numbers i have lost so so many numbers i don't know whether that i save some in the sim i save some in the phone i don't know so i lost so many numbers i don't have a lot of people's numbers so she called me like 10 days after i bought and she was like hello can i good morning please i'm in Dwala. i was like oh my god please who is this and she was like you don't have my number i was like my dear i'm sorry i'm changing my phone i've been I've, i'm in the process of transitioning so i've lost a lot of numbers she was like really she's in Dwala. she's coming to take her things i was like it doesn't work like that your things are not available yeah, things are not available but when i look at that point when she was calling me i looked at my app and it had shown me that these things had moved and they were now in dubai so i told her i know the things are not yet available the things it's a process now so on my app is showing that the things are in dubai so i said to her that these things are in dubai and when it's in dubai sometimes it takes like three days i feel like the shipping system it works according to how much they have to ship to cameroon so if my package comes and reaches there and there's really not much to ship i feel like they will not ship anything they'll just leave the things there until it reaches a certain amount before they can ship it so i feel like that's what used to make those things to stay if you're lucky and your things are getting there like your thing is the thing that is sealing up the shipment then oh your things will just go immediately but if you have to stay so i thought that these things are in dubai and sometimes it takes like three to four days so since you're calling me on a monday i feel like this thing should arrive cameroon maybe hopefully by friday if the things arrive on friday you know what did not with cameroon when it gets to cameroon dhl it things can come to dhl office and they keep it there for two weeks one month i don't know like i'm just trying to prepare her mind like don't think that as, as i'm saying that the things are in dubai means that the next second the things are going to come so that's what i told her and she was like oh okay no problem it just comes as i was in dubai like that i mean the things have come so i decided to call you i was like no i mind you guys i wasn't buying only for her i don't buy just for one person because sometimes the amount that we need to buy like i've said it here you have to buy 129 dollars and sometimes i could just see my phone case or one little thing that i want to buy from Shane, and i don't go ahead and buy it immediately so i have to wait for the order to fill up church is closing now so <laughs> I'll surely have to stop this and continue. To, I've told her now that so she should just expect that the things we might I might call her like the next week, if in case the things reach. But it's no guarantee, guys. So on Thursday now, 
I was planning for the birthday. There's a birthday that I put up my sister in law's daughter's birthday. I was planning for that birthday. So I had a lot going on. I, I was transporting chairs and tables and things for decorations from Bonaberry to City of Palmy. So I carried those things, guys. And I was going, when I was coming back, we we're tired. It was so late. It was a struggle to pack the things, to fit all of the things. It was a struggle. Karen and I really struggled. So when we were coming back, guys, my phone was ringing. My phone was ringing and it was a strange number. So I looked at the phone and I'm like, who is calling me? Karen was like, can I pick your phone? I was like, no. It looked like Pearl's number. Again, I've told you guys that my phone, I'm changing. So I don't know. There are certain numbers that I cannot see. So the number, I know Pearl's number, not offhand like that. But when I look at it, I can tell that this is Pearl's number. So it looked like Pearl's number. So I'm like, why is Pearl calling me? Anyway, let me get to the house. I'll call her. Pearl, the number called me like three times and I'm like, ha, is there a problem? As that number called me, the next thing I saw my friend that had connected me and this lady that i was doing business with now starts calling me she called me one two three times i'm like why is she calling me is there a problem <laughs> so as she called me i pick i now pick my phone guys i was so tired i wasn't even holding my phone the phone was just i just threw it there inside the car i picked it now and i said let me open my messages so the first thing i saw that number the strange number that call, was calling me had had sent me a message anyway people are coming out of church now so guys what i'll do is let me pause now i go and greet people and then when we get to the venue of the occasion i'm going to look for a quiet i'm going to come again and then i finish the story so let's pause for now <laughs> see you guys. Hi guys okay so i'm back home i'm having this headache guys um i'm not feeling too good i'm having a headache i feel like I'm stressed out. The last time I used this mic, I did not put it well. Oh, some of these clothes. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and use it like this. Okay, like I said, guys, I opened WhatsApp. The second I opened WhatsApp, I saw that the, the number that looked like Pearl's number had written a message to me. And then I saw that my friend that had also connected us had written a message to me. So I'm like, what is happening? What's going on here? I just quickly clicked on the message of the strange number to confirm is this pearl or is not pearl. But you know the way WhatsApp is, you can see the message, a little bit of the message before even clicking on it. So I was already suspecting what this message was about. So I open it, guys. I see three things. The first thing, I see a message. The second thing, I see my picture. The third thing, I see a mobile money receipt. So this man has written to me and is like, hello, you took money, you took this and this amount of money from my wife. You took 47,300 francs from my wife. I give you till Saturday. Guys, we're on, we're, we're on Thursday. His wife has called me on Monday. I give you till Saturday to just go ahead and refund that money. Or else you will see my iron face or his iron fist or what. Or, hey, I saw my picture. I don't know whether this person went to my TikTok or my Instagram or where but the person went to one of my socials and screenshotted me and <laughs> hey papa god screenshotted me and sent it to me almost like if you think you can hide okay we're going to find you and then sent me a receipt like you know the way when you send mo mobile money to somebody the messenger comes or the yeah the messenger comes he sent me the receipt showing that all my names were there and then that the, like just proved that, that his wife had sent me money and i was just like huh see guys <laughs> I was so mad. Also, Karen, as I told you guys, Karen was just like, Kenna, they don't think twice in things like this. Send back these people's money. Luckily, I had money in my mobile money. Luckily for me, Karen was just like, Kenna, send these people's money back. They don't play with things like this. My husband was so furious. Like, these people, they are trying to threaten you because, guys, I don't know about you. Maybe I'm being dramatic. Maybe I'm being too paranoid or whatever. But I was totally, I'm totally particular about certain things. Like, what do, what do you mean by going on to screenshot my things? Like, it just screamed, Kenna, you are a thief and we can find you to me. And I'm like, I told this lady that Friday, I told her that those things will come to Cameroon, maybe by Friday. And I would probably receive them the next week. So this happening, I could not get it. I was already fuming. My husband is like, send the money back. Karen is like, send the money back. I'm still like, no, because of my friend. My friend introduced me to this person. My friend knows who I am. So let me call my friend. 
I now open the message. I see the messages where my friend was trying to indulge me in a conversation. I go ahead and I call her and she's just like, no, okay, calm down. I was trying to explain like, what is going on? She was like, no, I should try to understand. This lady has been feeling a little bit suspicious because of my actions. And I'm like, what actions? Cause I don't get it. So my friend was just trying to explain to me that, Kenna, you know that, okay, she, the lady was upset that the first week when she paid you the money instead of you to go ahead and buy you had you had problems with your card and you did not tell her and i was like um honestly guys i did not feel like it's necessary it's i did not i did not feel like it was necessary to tell her but when we i eventually spoke with her and i saw that that was her problem i was like okay mama if that is what made you to feel upset i am sorry okay but imagine that i'm buying for 10 people are you trying to tell me that for each 10 persons that i am buying for every little hurdle i come across i call them i was already upset i just ranted to my friend my friend was just trying to calm down i told her i was going to send the money she was like no kenna don't send the money just calm down let me try to call my let her call her friend and let her discuss let her try to pacify the situation and on the other hand my husband is like you shall not disgrace me because of forty-seven thousand. they will not say anywhere that you have stolen forty-seven thousand. you will send back that money karen is like you will send back that money so i just went ahead immediately i sent back the money i wrote the message to the man and i told him that see I will not let you call me thief. Like, I do not appreciate you calling me a thief. Inside that discussion with my friend, my friend was telling me that this lady felt that I had blocked her. And I'm like, oh, see guys, I don't know. <sighs> like I said, on that Monday that she called me, I was driving to drop the kids off at school. So when she calls me, I'm like, okay, I'm going to school. I will drop the call and I'm going to get back to you. But I did not still save her number because things happened. So I still forgot to save her number. So I don't understand what she said. I blocked her. For you to block somebody, you have to probably save the person's number. Or I don't know. Can I block a number that I did not save? I did not save the lady's number till today. I never saved the number. She said she had been calling me the whole day. Anyway, so finally we discussed. So inside our conversation, that's when she was explaining to me, like things were sounding very fishy to her. Cause one, I had a problem with my card after I'd taken her money. I did not explain to her that Kenna, um, excuse me, my dear, my card has a problem. So it's going to take, it's going to delay. I did not tell her that. Secondly, um, she called me and I said, I did not have her number. I was just like, at this point, I cannot be sorry for that guys. Cause I had already explained so i wasn't i tried to explain to her she did not understand i just feel like anyway so i tried to explain she did not still understand she was like that was the second thing and then the third thing now that just made her to just assume that it was surely something bad happening was when she tried calling me and i had blocked her and i'm like how do, when like how did i block you because she said she she was out the whole day she had been trying to call me she tried to call me i wasn't picking my number was not going through so she came back home and asked her husband to call me and the second her husband called me my number went through which means i which meant i had blocked her i was not going to explain myself any further because i did not even save your number i like i was just like okay if you have for the fact that you say you felt bad that i did not call you to tell you that i had a delay with my card and all that i am sorry but guys this is how i was looking at it i buy for people right i buy for people all the time i have told you that 20 working days right so i will not be calling you for every single problem for every single delay for every single thing that is how i work i don't want to be disturbing people whom who i'm buying for so if i've taken your money majority the people that i buy for i've already told them 20 working days so they don't call me until the 20 working days has elapsed but they don't even get to call me because before the 20 working days elapse i've either called them to come and take their their stuff or i call them if there's a problem so this lady she first of all called me after she sent me the money like five days later she calls me before i explained about the card right i buy the things the next day she then calls me like nine days later and then I talk to you on a Monday and I tell you that these things might come on Saturday. These things might come on Friday. And when they come, the things are still going to be at DHL, which means I cannot, like, I have to just sit down and wait. But you still go ahead and try to call me again on the Thursday, like four days later. And then the number does not go through. As you say, I've blocked you. And then you just decide that I've stolen your money. 
like it was so annoying guys i don't know maybe i was overreacting but for me it was so annoying to an extent i understand people get scammed all the time but just look at it the way i've said so if i calculate all the time guys i finally sent the things to her yesterday guess when was make it make 20 working days it made 20 working days yesterday I sent her her things yesterday guys i've been counting i've been on my calendar i did not know how i bother about my image <laughs> okay till this thing happens because i felt like you're you're actually accusing me of theft guys there are certain things that you do I, I don't want to go ahead to start talking you don't know how many people trust me with their money you don't know how many people's money i might be managing you don't know you don't know people who are close to me know that i don't play with people's money i don't so for me just the insinuation that Kenna has stolen my money or Kenna has taken my money and eaten it was so, so wrong. Like, it, it just made me so angry. If it had gotten to the 20 working days, like I said, right, and you're acting up and you're mad, I'll understand. I'll be like, okay, at least it's 20 working days and you're suspecting me. I've not sent your things. But it made 20 working days yesterday. See, guys, it, has, it, was just, it was just a lot. So that happened, it was last week. Was it last weekend? yeah last weekend so that happened on thursday i sent back the money she called we tried to have a conversation so i was like she was like she wants to send the money back i was like mama no don't send me the money just keep it okay just keep it what we're going to do is when the things come if you want the things you send me the money i'll send you your things if you don't want the money it's okay i to i sell i can always buy these things away my husband was like can i don't send them the things they should take their money and go because that's where they'll come and spoil your name and things like that but because of my friend because of my friend that is why i still i was still like no let me just continue with these people guys after we had had that conversation and i still explained to her that dhl is the one to send me this message guys friday passed saturday dhl calls me and the lady was like, Madam Kuma, this is DHL. I was like, she was, I was in the birthday, so it was noisy. So I was like, I can't get you. I can't hear you. The lady just dropped the call. So I was like, okay, maybe DHL will call me on Monday. I didn't even dare to tell her because I knew if I told her DHL has called me on Monday, it will, uh, on that Saturday, it will, it will start be another issue. Because of all the wahala, I just decided that I was not going to talk with her anymore. I was going to deal with her friend. So when dhl called me i told i told my friend that okay dhl called me because dhl called me on monday sorry dhl called me on monday and they told me that they have my package and i should come and get it i was like i will not have time to come and get it but you people always do home delivery why can you not deliver they said i had a problem with my address so i i arranged that issue and they said they were going to bring it to me the next day so i called my friend and told my friend okay tell your friend that her things are here um because my friend had said she was going to come and take the things since my husband was already saying i should keep the things and this all that that's how she went and told the lady the lady now calls me on tuesday and she's like okay now why are you not calling me i'm like i i'd not say anything i said i don't know what to say she was like why 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 do you not come to tell me i just sat quiet because guys i was biting my tongue i was almost i was so close to losing it but i was so i was going to lose it so i was just biting my tongue i don't want to say anything i just decided to keep calm like i'm not talking i'll not say anything yes i will not say anything so we were conversing so she i told her i was going to be busy on that tuesday dhl is going to come and give me guys i'm not working for dhl dhl will come and give it when they come and give it they don't tell me a time that oh we're coming at 5 a.m or 6 we don't have that kind of system in cameroon when the dhl man gets up and he decides that he wants to bring the thing to you he will call you and bring the thing to you if you are not there okay you come and take it from the office so she calls me and she's like i should please try to send it when the man brings it so i'm just explaining to her one i'm not going to be home i'm not going to be home most of that day I will not be around. I have so many things to do, so I'll not be home. So it's my nanny that's going to receive the thing. And if if the thing comes earlier before 12, my nanny can rush and go and send it to her. But if the things come after 12, my nanny will not be able to rush and go and send it to her. So she would just have to she would just have to wait. When I come back from what I'm doing, maybe I can go ahead and send it to her she was like no can i try to understand try to put effort see it just it just it, i was like i would uh, see guys have you ever felt not heard not understood it i don't know why conversation um, communication was so difficult i was like but i'm trying to explain to you that i will not be around what what effort do you want me to do like what effort so she's like no she was just trying to tell me that i should even say i'm like no i've committed i said i but I, I was going to buy for you i was going to i'm going to go through with the service so if i'm telling you that 
my nanny cannot do it. It means that I obviously have to do it. I'll not take the things and keep it in my house. So that was our conversation. My nanny collected the things because the DHL guy, like I like I imagined, came late on that um was on that day, on that Tuesday, I think. So my nanny could not go and send it. She was at home with the kids. So that was what happened. So yesterday, now Saturday, that made it 20 working days, guys. That is when I went and I sent her the things. Yeah, that's when I went and I sent her the things. And then now, today, she sent me, she received the things today. And she sent me a message. She just told me that she doesn't like problems. She's not a problematic person. But I'm a public figure. I have to work on my customer service because she feels like my customer service was not good. She thought that we're going to work together. But the way it has started, it obviously is not good. See, guys, I did not respond. But I decided to come and do this video. <laughs> I did not respond because I'm just like... <sighs> I just feel like she had an she had she had a thought in her head like she just felt like everything I'm doing was wrong. I don't know. I do I like I don't know. Anyway, guys, that's my story. You push comment tell me what do you think? Do you where do you guys think I did wrong? Cause for me, like I said, I know that the only place I did wrong because it hurt her feelings actually is that I did not tell her. But generally, I was not buying just for her. I bought for five other people. None of those other people called me or asked me anything because 20 working days had not reached yeah none of them asked me so yeah guys um yeah <sighs> that is it what do you guys think because for me i just feel like when people this is the way my business works when you call me and we put things together to buy as you pay in the money you go you wait 20 working days if i if there's any issue i'll call you if i don't call you it means everything is going smoothly i don't give you like an update every second that is why i first of all said that i'm not buying for any of anybody again because it's too stressful it's stressing me the hell out i i'm not ready for that kind of drama so yes guys that is it you push you come come and tell me what you think where you think i went wrong what you think how you think i would i, I should have handled the thing like just come and tell me because I felt so angry like for me i felt insulted i felt completely insulted like why even if i want to steal your money like she's calling me a public figure okay i'm a public figure so public figure i'll go and steal forty-seven thousand and run away with, with forty-seven thousand. jesus anyway guys that is it anyway guys that is it that's my story this is the end of this vlog i don't even know what is in this vlog <laughs> <laughs> it seems like is this story that's in this vlog but yeah guys there you have it thank you very much for watching this video i want to say sorry to my sweet friend i know you would not want me to do this video but i i, I already apologized before coming to do it <laughs> and i'm apologizing now please forgive me but you know i love you right <laughs> anyway but guys at the end of the day to be honest i don't have any issue with this woman i feel like she's a nice person but you know when they say two people some two people probably do not just we do not just blend or we do not just understand each other. I just feel that's the case. I don't feel like she's a bad person or she's this or she's that. I don't feel it like that. I just feel like maybe our blood did not just match or maybe it did not just go. I don't know. So, yeah. Thank you guys very much for watching this one. And I'm going to see you on my next one. Okay? Love you guys. Bye.